Well, good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning, and here we are for the Boxing Day extravaganza that is Play Radio Breakfast. Uh, we've got the team here. It's Emma. Hello, Emma. Come, 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 come. Good morning. Looking quite tired today. And Craig, our super-duper SLR stills cameraman and uh, member of security as well. And in fact, if I, just, if I just steal this as well, uh, we can see our super Steve. Good morning. In the house. So um, let's do the show. Lounge get up and start your boxing day. Santa Claus is coming to town. Coming to town. <laughs> uh, half past six on Boxing Day morning. The show was going very well until the noise in the background you hear started going off. Morning, Glenn. It's probably Glenn from security's fault. He's on his way in to check out the situation. But we're going to stand out here, drink coffee, and um, wait till we can go back in and resume the show. Hopefully we're still on the radio. News update. Um, the fire alarm situation, uh, where the alarms are going off and we had to evacuate the building, is slightly more severe than we first thought. Uh, it appears that some of the smoke sensors on the third floor are indicating that there could be a potential problem. We're actually now waiting for the fire brigade to get here, and you can hear the alarms just sounding again in the background. So uh, we shall see what happens. Welcome to Boxing Day. And it started to rain. 7.8 across Southampton, 107.2 in Winchester. Uh, back on the radio and back in the building. Uh, thanks to the fire brigade for checking everything out upstairs. Emma's quite happy that she saw some men on Boxing Day, aren't you? I'm very happy. <laughs> they had their uniform on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> did, they, did, did they have big flashing lights? They did, yeah. Did, did they get their hoses out? No. Oh, shame. Steve's top tip for saving money on New Year's Eve is on the way after this. Well, <laughs> it's from the X Factor finalists. And on the trains, there's an extremely limited service right across the country. Please check with National Rail before travelling. Shola Amos, you might need somebody from Play Radio. Good morning, welcome to The Breakfast Show across Southampton and Winchester on 107.8 and 107.2. And if you're listening online, hello to you at playradio.co.uk. So the uh, event of this morning you will find online very soon. So if you go to youtube.com slash playradiotv, you'll see all of the videos we've made over the past uh, four or five months, plus uh, today's eventualities as well. <laughs> Welcome to my place. Mm. It's a, a very surreal boxing day for me because I'm at home and I'm surrounded by lovely people. It's very nice, it's very unusual. I don't know why that's. <laughs> surrounded and by our, people. Our guest star is here and uh, we'll be introducing you to him or her very shortly. It's time for first, last, and everything, and this is a little bit weird. This is a bit strange because um, uh, my friends here and my friend Scott Mills. Hello. Hello. Are you all right. I thought I'd pop in. Uh, well, we normally would meet up over Christmas for a beer, wouldn't we? We thought we'd throw a beer in with you appearing on the radio. Wouldn't we? Well, I just thought it'd be nice for me to pop in. Uh, all the dogs off. Get <laughs> <laughs> the dog. Go, rawr, rawr. Unfamiliar person. Um, Absolutely. No, so yeah, we normally go for a beer. We we're going to do it on um, Christmas Eve, weren't we? Yeah, but then, um, but then I had to go and see my little niece who's just oh. been born. Oh. Where? Uh, Southampton General. Really? Yes. Oh. She's a bit premature, but she's home now, so it's all good. Oh. So that's why I couldn't meet you on Christmas Eve, and that's why I'm here at your house today eating your sausage rolls. Uh, we've got everything here. Look, we've got sausage rolls, mince pies, tea is, is I love it. Blooming, and we can probably go to the pub afterwards. Uh, so uh, Scott's here, and uh, we'll talk to you properly in a minute. But right. first, we're going to do your first, last, and everything, which is the first single you bought, the last one you bought or downloaded, and the song that means everything to you. So what's your first? The first one is the kind of first record that I bought on my own with my own pocket money. From where? Uh, I think from, uh, what was it called then? You know the one in uh, near Chandler's Ford? It's Asda now. Ah, oh, well, I think it might have been Carrefour back in the day. Well, I never. Yeah. Oh, what was it? It was Madonna and Like a Virgin. Play Radio 107.8, 107.2. 
Uh, so Hampton and Winchester's Grace Hits uh, with a great song there from George Michael, uh, December Song and Like a Virgin Madonna and Scott Mills is my guest. Hello. <laughs> my friend has popped round for a cuppa and uh, just to play his kind of tunes for uh, for a boxing day. Your mum makes really good tea. It's, it's excellent tea. We've got uh, some... Did you, did you have I'm, one of, I'm, I'm have saving cats, myself for the sausages. One of Kath's sausage, sausage rolls because... Thank she you. wants you to have one. I will, I definitely will. Oh, okay, lovely. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, those are your two. Your first, we've already said, was bought at Carrefour. Yes. In, in Eastley. Yeah, on the roundabout. Tell us about George Michael. On vinyl. The George Michael record um, is a song that I downloaded last week because it was in the chart and we couldn't find a copy of it anywhere at Radio at, 1. At, at the place you work. Yeah, Up so I road. downloaded it. Uh, <laughs> so, but actually, I do quite like it. It's quite haunting and it's a record that I don't play every day and mm. i think when you work on a, a radio station you know which does a high rotation of hit records i think it's quite interesting sometimes to hear especially at christmas something that's a little bit different yeah very nice indeed right so uh you're everything this is the one you struggled at in fact it's really you, hard to you ask. knew where you wanted to get it from didn't you yeah which but is... what track do you get so the album you wanted to pick maybe the greatest album of all time um possibly thriller you. michael jackson and also it was a very strange year because obviously uh, the death of Michael Jackson, mm. and everyone will remember where they were. I actually saw you that evening, didn't I? Yeah, Do you remember? You were, you were around my house when it all broke. Yeah, like, uh, I was in <gasps> in like uh, Chichester area and yeah, was doing a gig. Right. Yeah, and um, yeah, just really shock and surprise, and um, I just wanted to choose a track from this album, but it's so okay. hard to choose a track from this album. <laughs> there are so many good ones. I thought Billie Jean was too obvious. Yeah, want to be starting something I also like. Yeah. Um, Human Nature would have been good, but I don't think I can... It's not that well known to put it as an everything, so I'm going to go for Beat It, just because it's an amazing record, and the guitar solo in the middle, they don't do it like that anymore. <laughs> Michael Jackson, uh, Beat It on Play Radio. Uh, my guest, my special friend. <laughs> My special friend. My special friend <laughs> is Scott Bells. He's here, and those were his first, last, and everything. Good choices. Thank you very much. I was a bit surprised with George Michael. Um, it was only because it was the last one I downloaded, and I, 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 I thought I was expecting I'd... some top pendulum or something. Well, no, I could have gone that way, but I just thought it was a nice Christmas thing. And also, I'm one of those people that still thinks it's Christmas, even though do you know uh, what I mean? Like Boxing yeah, Day for me yeah. is still Christmas. It is Christmas. Lots and of you're people are relaxing. And yeah, you're easy. still allowed to play Christmas songs. Absolutely brilliant. Right. So thank you for your choices. So, thank I mean, you. how often do you come back to Southampton? Um, it's not too often, is it? Not too often. I just come back and see my family when I can, and and you and other. Assorted uh, friends. Assorted others. Um, Significant others. Yeah, but I like to come back when I can. It's probably once every six months though these days. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I always come back at Christmas. You're up that London. Yeah, I've never missed a Christmas though. Ah, that's true. Actually, it's true. And always, we've been, yeah. often been out in Southampton on Christmas evening. Yes. Uh, we <laughs> wouldn't say any more than that. <laughs> but we've often been out there uh, to, the, to the wee small hours Yes. in, in Bibing. And, uh, and it's good to see you today. Thanks for coming, for coming in. Thank you. It's just the weirdest thing to have all my friends around. Uh, but uh, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. It's getting uh, quite crowded in it here. It is. I actually can't get anyone else in. <laughs> and my mum's still on security with a taser if anyone's thinking of trying anything. <laughs> which is what we warn you. Right, I've been in Scott. smaller studios, though, uh, to be honest. Barely. <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.